My name is Aiko Sada. I'm a stem cell biologist from Kumamoto University, Japan. Today, I'd like to introduce my lab, a laboratory of skin regeneration in aging. So stem cell, a special type of cell that have ability to renew themselves, uh, so-called self-renewal, and to produce a mature differentiated type of cell. Then those tissue stem cells uh, reside um, different parts of the body and they contribute to homeostatic tissue turnover or repair. However, recent study also suggests that um, this function or this misregulation of stem cell may also cause an aging of tissue or the several diseases, uh, including cancer. So my lab uh, trying to understand uh, cellular and molecular mechanism of tissue regeneration and aging by using skin as a model system. In a classical stem cell model, those tissue stem cells are slow cycling or infrequently dividing in nature. And those slow cycling stem cells um, place at the top of lineage hierarchy and they give rise to first dividing progenitor cell uh, called transit amplifying cell or TA cell. Those TA cell can divide rapidly and produce a lot of progeny that um, proceeds to terminal differentiation and contributes to tissue degeneration. So this model is known as hierarchical stem TA model and it's considered to be a mechanism to protect uh, stem cell from duplication in this DNA damage and telomere shortening and thereby from tumor genesis or aging. But there are several other studies uh, suggest different role of slow cycling cell. So slow cycling cell, as I told you, uh, it, they could be a unique from this stem cell population, but they could also uh, be a reserved population that do not actively participate in normal tissue homeostasis, but they are activated uh, in response to injury. Or those slow cycling nature um, could be a random thing. So in the tissue, um, some cells divide more or divide less, um, but in terms of cellular property or stem cell potential, uh, they are maybe equal in their potential. We know that based on observation, there are some cells that divide less frequently and detected as slow cycling cell. But I think it's a still mystery what's the property of those slow cycling cells, then why tissue needs those uh, slow cycling cells, and then what's the role of them in a different tissues or different context. In my study, I use uh, skin as a model. So skin is divided into epidermis, outermost epidermis, and the dermis. Those epidermal compartments uh, accommodate different stem cell populations. So for example, uh, stem cell in this bowage region, they regenerate uh, the hair. And stem cell uh, for the sebaceous gland, they regenerate sebaceous gland. And in the interferential epidermis, uh, which is essential for skin barrier function, uh, stem cell reside in the basal area of the epidermis, um, like the basal basement membrane, and they divide and differentiate upward and they make epidermal uh, cell. However, um, it's still um, be a controversial which cells act as stem cell within the basal layer and whether slow cycling cells are really um, equal to stem cell. So to address the question, um, I use this H2BGFP set of system which can visualize a uh, slow cycling cell in the tissue. So here, um, in this system, GFP expression is driven by um, HCL cell specific keratin fiber promoter. Then when doxycycline is added, um, it shuts down the transcription of GFP. But this GFP is fused with histone H2D so even if transcription is shut off, um, GFP protein is very stable and maintained for long term. So when cells divide, 
and sales dilute GSP signal after several rounds of cell division, so first dividing population will lose GMP signal. Uh, whereas uh, short cycle itself will retain um, GMP signal for a long period of time. So those cells can be detected as level retaining cells or LOC. So this is a picture of the epidermis uh, looking by whole mouth. So here I peel off the epidermis and then image them uh, by confocal uh, microscope and uh, looking from the basal side. So before doxycycline treatment, uh, all FCL cells are labeled in green. Then this is a picture after six weeks of dox treatment. So you can see this beautiful pattern of LOC. So here, so non-level retaining cells, so first dividing population, are located in this um, cyclical region, uh, so-called scale structure. So you know, it looks like a scale of the fish. And those noreoses are located in uh, next to a cluster of three fair follicles. And in contrast, LLCs, so those slow cycling populations are located in between those scale regions, uh, so inter scale. So this observation suggests that in this skin epidermis, and slow cycling and first dividing populations are located in distinct territory of the skin. Then I wonder which population act as stem cell and what's the lineage relationship between slow cycling and first dividing populations. So to address the question, I use multiple inducible QA uh, system to reveal and then track their lineage for a long period of time. So to do that, I identified uh, DLX1 and SLC1 and 3 um, as a marker of slow cycling cells and first dividing cells respectively, and revel them in red with tomato reporter and trace their fate for one year. So here uh, we found that DLX1 positive slow cycling cells then also uh, SCLC1 and 3 positive first dividing population, they both act as stem cells. So they both have ability to self renew and then produce differentiated progeny uh, for long period of time. So that fits the definitions of stem cell. And interestingly, those two populations of stem cell are located um, in distinct regions and then differentiate their own territory to a normal homeostasis. But they also have abilities to migrate out from their own niche and then go to other territory and contribute to um, injury repair. To summarize, in a hierarchical model, the stem cell, slow cycling cell, act as unique stem cell population that give rise to first dividing progenitor cells as a top of finish hierarchy. In contrast, in the interbreak epidermis, there are two distinct populations of stem cells that divide at different rate and decide in different territory of the epidermis. So I think this is very interesting and we are trying to further address what's the biological meaning of having those two populations of stem cells and how they are regulated, then whether this is more universal models that applies to different uh, tissues. And finally, if stem cells divide more, do they age more? In my lab, uh, we use skin, coral, and eye, those three epithelial tissues as a model, and try to address uh, what's the property and role of uh, slow cycling cells and first dividing stem cells in normal tissue turnover or injury repair or during development in young tissues and how they change in the process of aging. If you are interested in uh, skin biology, epithelial tissues, uh, stem cell aging, or tissue engineering techniques, um, please let me know. So we are recruiting students from all over the world.
Quilab is located in IELCMS, um, Kumamoto University, Japan. So IELCMS is a research issue um, focusing on tissue stem cell, cancer, and aging. And we have open laboratory system, so there are no walls uh, between uh, different laboratories. So we can closely communicate with each other. Um, we enjoy science, we love science. So I think uh, this is a great uh, research environment, um, especially for stem cell research. And um, Kumamoto is located in the southwest part of Japan. So this is a beautiful place and nice food and drink. My lab have website and Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, so please follow us. Um, so if you have any question, if you're interested in your research, um, please let me know. So thank you for your attention. Um, see you.